everybody welcome back to another she tried it video i'm going to do um a look on my second avon true color eyeshadow quad the matte formula this time i'm going to be doing it in the shade on the vine on the vine is a shade full of green colors and then that white at the top um i've already done my one eye except for the highlight which i'm going to go in and put that white in and see how it looks i'm keeping my fingers crossed but i also because this for me doesn't have any transition color i um added a morphe palette and that is the morphe 35k and i just chose this color right here for my transition so if you want to see how i got this look just stay tuned Okay, so I zoomed you in just a little bit. Um, I used for my um, eyeshadow primer, the Avon eyeshadow primer, and this is, I think, warm beige. I can never read this little tiny right on the bottom of it. This is warm beige, yeah. And this is not available through Avon anymore, as you all have heard me say a hundred times. I had to get this on eBay, and I have a backup because I absolutely love it. So we are going to get started, and I am going to dig into my 35K palette. And I am using this color right here as my transition color. And forgive me because I'm going to be using my trusty pink mirror. So hopefully I don't block you guys. It's a little... take that from below the brow bone to just at the crease because I did, couldn't find really a good crease color in that palette either so me not being the professional makeup artist I just could not do this green palette without um, some help okay so next I'm going to go into color number three right here and color number three is Mm, 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 it's called jade that's so funny so I'm going to put jade all over my lid This, I think, was the most difficult um, palette for me to use because I have a fear of colors like blue and green on my eyes. So I try my best not to use them. But let's kind of fade that out in the crease a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go in with color number four right here. And color number four is called Smoked Teal. And that's going to go... I'm gonna mess up my palette. That's gonna go on my outer corner and into the crease a little bit. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a clean brush and just kind of blend this out some. I feel like I need to put a little bit more of this jade on my lid because it looks like a little transparent to me. And forgive me, I came with only part of my makeup done, so you might see some um, concealer and things on my face but I will finish that in a minute so I'm going to go back in with that brown color from um, Morphe and just kind of blend out that um, teal color yeah, here I 
are real comfy. I have to come clear the sides to make sure they look okay. And that is that. Let me go, like I said, back in with this jade color and put some more on my lid because it's just lost its luster here. I feel like I'm both ways. Gotta be careful with this one because I got my mascara on. And I'm blending back out again. So, I'm thinking I'm just gonna go with the clean brush right here and blend out a little more. No, I don't want things to, like they say, look muddy. I'm gonna stop right there. And the next thing I used was my favorite eyeliner, which is Starlux Pro Lux Longwear Mascara, I mean eyeliner in black. Of course, I always put marks on my face from mascara and um, mascara from mascara and eyeliner. Bold in the other eye, but we can fix that. Okay, so that is my eyeliner, and the, the mascara that I use is the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes. Sometimes I like this little ball on the end. Sometimes this little ball on the end gets in my way. And it makes me put mascara on my eye. Okay, so that is it for the mascara. Now, in my lower lash line, I didn't do like the smudge thing at the bottom. I didn't want to add extra color. So I used the Avon Extra Last Thing line um, eyeshadow. Pencil, and this is in the color, I can't see, it's called Topaz Shimmer. This is what that looks like. So, I'm gonna be looking past you so I can see what I'm doing, but I just put it on, on the waterline. And a little tiny bit under the lower lash line. That is it with that. And then I messed up my concealer, but I will fix that later. And lastly, I used the IT Cosmetics tight line just on my lower lash line I have to get used to putting things on my lower lashes because I don't do such a good job see I already got something on my face right there I can't stand it but we'll get that off I barely have any lower lashes so it's hard to catch what you can't see anyway that is that I'm gonna zoom out okay so I'm gonna clean up the mess that I made. I'm gonna finish my makeup and then I will be right back with the finished look and then I'll tell you the other things I use on my face. So hang in there with me for just a second. Okay everybody, so I am back with my final full face and this is what this eye look looks like. All wrapped up. I know it's not professional but I like it anyway so I'm gonna go over um, with you the stuff that I use um, first of all I use my Avon eye primer in warm beige I used my Avon um, ideal flawless concealer and it's in the color dark and I'm gonna show you all the progress I'm making on finishing this thing I'm doing good um, what else I use the, um, this Morphe palette. This is the 35K. So open that up. I use this color right here as a transition and kind of like a blending color. More, more extra blending other than transition. I use, of course, the star of the show is the Avon True Color Matte Eyeshadow Quad. And this is in the color on the vine. I couldn't just use a straight, so I had to add a brown transition color to that. 
Um, I also used, is that it for, okay, for the eyes I used my It Cosmetics Hello Lashes Mascara and also the Star Looks Pro Looks Longwear Eyeliner in Black. I used the It Cosmetics Tight Line Mascara. Sorry, I did this twist out on my hair. It has to puff up a little bit. It is driving me crazy. Um, that is that. Okay, so for my face, I used the It Cosmetics Under Eye, Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. I used the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Illumination. Um, I added a little bit of the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal. Um, it's a corrector, the yellow one. I used uh, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. I use it under my eyes. I can't even open it. I like it. It's very translucent. Um, skipping on to blush, I also used another It Cosmetics product and it's the Bye Bye Pores Blush. And this is in the color Naturally Pretty, which it actually is. I used my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, which I am absolutely loving. I used all three of the, um, the products. Um, I forgot one of my eye products. I also use the Aeon Extra Lasting Eyeshadow Pencil in the color Topaz Shimmer. And this is what this looks like. I use that on the waterline. And for my lipstick, I used my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. And um, I used my favorite lipstick, the Freckle Tone. It is almost gone, so I'm not going to show you because I'm embarrassed that what I'm still holding on to. And I believe finally I used my NYX, I have loved this thing, it's almost empty. NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. And that is that for everything I used on my face. I kinda was a little bit hesitant with this green eyeshadow, but I actually like it. I still got some mascara that, of course I'm not good with mascara, we're not gonna go there. But that is the look using the Avon True Color Matte Eyeshadow Quad again in the color on the vine. If you want to check out any of the colors, how about I put the highlight on this eye, but I didn't put the highlight on that eye. So while I'm talking to you, if you want to check out any Avon products, my um, link is in the description area to my e-store. I do like this. Um, number one color for hmm. I do like this number one color for my highlight what's the number one color name girl it's called soft nude knew something wasn't right about this eye that was something was not quite finished but anyway there it is so that is palette number two and I believe there are like maybe no two more because one of them is the colors are too light so I can't do a complete look um, with it. So two more Avon True Color Matte Eyeshadow looks coming up. Um, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.